so that they can be saved. And actually, shame and guilt are a gift from God. I don't know if you believe that, but if you don't have shame or guilt, you continue to murder babies. And, uh, and so one of the biggest things, the problems with the pro-life movement is that they say women are never victims. Well, I've been doing abolition work, going to abortion mills, high schools and colleges, even LGBT gatherings, and I've never met a victim. They always, F them babies, I eat babies. Oh, yeah, I hear it all the time. What's your name? You're, you're Nicholas. I want to make a donation in your name. They told me that. Never a victim. And now, say, having said that, I do believe that there are victims out there that, that yeah. the boyfriend says, you're getting this abortion, you're going to die. Coercion, you know? Uh, but I've never met one. And so we're here to provide the gospel that will save them from hell. And not only that, they'll change their minds so they'll never want to kill their baby again. They'll either, if they get pregnant or whatever, they'll, they'll be, uh, you know, by their husband. Lord willing, if they really get saved, they're not going to fornicate either. They're going to be married, and if they decide, oh, we, we had a baby and, and we're married, but we, we don't want the baby, we'll adopt it out. That's the right thing to do, not, not murder. You'd probably agree, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I, I agree, um, but I work for this organization, and so I can ask you to respect our organization as a whole and what we're trying to get out. Um, I believe in the gospel, I believe in Jesus, um, but as an organization as a whole, I ask you guys to respect what we're, our wishes and what we're asking you. And I think that God asks us to respect other people. Um, so if I could just ask you, just, if you're going to be here, if you're not going to take down the signs, at least have them in the back and not have them up front where our cameras are. Um, we want to have a nice video for our advertising. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, I do believe in Jesus. I love Jesus. <laughs> um, and I just, I just really want to ask you guys that um, I put this event together. I worked really hard for it. And I wanted to look for man that we um, wanted to look for our public. Um, we work with, um, uh, what do you call those like, um, baby, uh, uh, like shelters for women. We we work with them. We align with like, um, what is it, Salem Hope um, Center, where women can come in and get the help that they need to raise their babies. And and that's something we're asking and, and wanting women to um, know about. We have some religious speakers here today that are going to speak the gospel. Um, we have religious music here today, and so we are sharing um, faith. Um, but not everyone here is of faith. Um, so I just kind of want to ask you. So, um, yeah. yeah. But thank you well, for listening. Can I give you one of these to, I, to uh, read? I do have. Oh, you got one of those? Yes. Well, this, this is, uh, that's a great gospel track. I know the, the woman who wrote that. Uh, but this one talks about abolition and the reason why we're abolitionists. Because we want to we destroy abortion. Not, not, you're, you're at, well, actually, your website, I saw it says, 
we want to regulate abortion. Regulate. We, we never want to regulate. It'd be like regulating rape or, or regulating robbery. You know, you know what I mean? We wouldn't so, think of so doing that. But. Our website doesn't say that. Um, we don't. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you because yeah. I have an event to coordinate. Um, but thank you so much for listening. If you could just consider what I say, I do need to get back to mm-hmm. yeah, what we're understand. doing. So, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm going to leave you to it. Yeah, so. I'm just going to bring up that, I took a screenshot of that somewhere here. Right. And, uh, hey, Gabby. Uh, hello. Yeah, uh, greetings, sister. I took a screenshot where it says we regulate abortion. Okay, so I mean, maybe, I'll, I'll look at it. Yeah, let me. So uh, I don't write the website, but yeah, yeah, I will and, definitely and, look at it. Yeah, that's, uh, let me see if I can find it here. It might be on one of our chats. I shared that I with folks. Out. I'm going to look at it. You just need to show the website. I do want to get up front. I'm sorry, you guys can chat with Ashley real quick. I do need to get up front. Okay, yeah, well, thanks for thank coming and talking listening. to us. I appreciate yeah, thank it. You. I understand where you're coming from, yeah. Yeah, let's see where But the thing is, we need to understand where the baby's coming from is being murdered. And that's. No, of course, yeah. Like, that's. And you, nobody, she's, nobody she said your name is Ashley? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So take a read that carefully. That's from Oregon Right and Life. Yeah, she said she didn't write it, but, you know, she's, she's part of the organization. I would think she would agree with what's written on the website. Yeah, I, I I agree with you that that's what it says. I would say that in that sentence, that's referring to what the Supreme Court decision did. So it's just saying that the right to regulate abortion has been returned to the states. But so, you're, you're in agreement with it, so you should regulate it. You should, shouldn't abolish it. We, we, nobody wants to see any unborn life ended through abortion at all. And that's, that's not in, at all what Oregon Right to Life is about. I think right. that our differences would just be in what the strategy would be. Uh, to do that, um, and so how how effective, um, how you go about it effectively, and I think, you know, people obviously disagree about that within the pro-life movement, and that's okay, um, but our approach is just kind of to work through the legislative channels a little bit more, so um, that's, you, you, that's you know, um, do you know, Miss Ashley, do you know what actually, I'm not sure how involved you are in the legislative process. Um, I'm not personally. But I, I can tell you, I've 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 been at the Capitol in many states, including including Bleeding, Kansas, where I just came from. And do you know what what the majority of pro-life organ not all, but 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 the majority of pro-life organizations what what they do with the effort to end abortion to abolish it? You know what they do? They kill it. Not not only do they kill it, but they won't even let the, the bill get get a hearing. And I uh, actually watched this happen in, in Kansas, uh, what a couple months ago, where. Like we were going there about, about every Wednesday, going to the Capitol there in, in Topeka, Kansas, and we watched as the, the the pro-life House and Senate would not even give the the bill that would abolish abortion a hearing, yeah. would not even let get it, get a vote, and that's and that's 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 happened in states like Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Louisiana, Arkansas. Well, I would say in Texas right now you got a very different situation where through the legislative process that has turned out very differently. So. I appreciate where you guys have come from. I understand. Just know that we are not coming from a perspective at all that says that we're okay with abortion at all. Um, I would say, again, it's just very much a strategic difference, not a difference in terms of both of us want to see abortion end and every unborn life protected. But does so, Oregon Right to Life want to see it end if they're, if they're regulating it? And what do, you, what do you personally believe? Do you believe that... I'm all, not going to be able to... I, I do have other tasks to do. Yeah, yeah, just so. real quick. Do you believe yeah. women are always victims, sometimes victims, or, or never victims? I, what, I know the typical pro-life view is that women are always victims, but I don't know what you personally believe. I think believe. some people would say that, but I would, I would say that every situation is different. I would take more of a nuance to that. Yeah, because I've been doing this about 11 years, 10, 11 years, and I've never met a woman victim. It's always, have them babies, I eat babies for breakfast, etc. Yeah, it's horrible. I but I, I would say that I know people that know women who have had, you know, the boyfriend says, you're going to die. I'm going to kill you if you don't afford this baby. I get, yeah, that's a victim in a sense, you know. Yeah. Like, but, but you know that most animals will die defending their offspring. But we have women that will, that will readily kill their babies. They'll readily murder their babies. We're in agreement. We're definitely in agreement about protecting the animals. I, I brought some signs that I wanted. My, my point here is to educate people not only on uh, what the pro-life movement uh, uh, supports, but also give them the gospel. Because most, most pro-life people are, are not Christian. You even said it yourself that there are unsafe people. Well, my experience has been most pro-life people are either Catholic, which is unsafe.
okay, or, or other types of bullshit. So, so that's, that's been my experience. Thank you. Got it. Thank you guys. All right, thanks.